let's talk about the physics classroom link and how we identify these types of reactions. We have two ionic compounds that produce two different ionic compounds. So that's two produce two. And that means that they would trade partners like A, B, C, D, A would go with D. That's two trades, so that's double replacement. A larger, more complex many atoms compound is broken down. Okay, broken down. So we're going from one thing to more than one. So that's decomposition because it fell apart. How do we tell a single replacement from a double replacement? Well, in a single replacement, we have like one thing, not like one thing, we have one thing, and it replaces, say, this one. So then you get this, and this one is now on its own. So a single re uh, reaction involves the reaction of an element with a compound. That would be true. And a double replacement in involves the reaction of two compounds. That is exactly it. Compounds meaning uh, a plus minus pair, in this case at least. So we have uh, two things and they became one thing and that is synthesis. A synthesis, synthetic, synthesizer means creating or making. So we made one thing. It reacts with oxygen gas to produce oxides of the elements found. And that is very much combustion. Reacting with oxide, oxygen in the air, and then you make carbon dioxide and water, at least in the versions we're going to do, because it has carbon, hydrogen, maybe oxygen, plus O2, and you get carbon dioxide and water. Two smaller, two or more smaller elements react together, producing a larger and more sophisticated compound. So two or more produce a one, so that should be synthesis. An element reacts with an ionic compound to produce a different element and a different ionic compound. That's what we said before. The element can't underline these things. The element reacts to produce a different element. Well, it bumped an element out and took its place. And so we now, have a, we now have a different ionic compound, so that is single replacement. Synthesis and decomposition, one synthesis makes one product, decomposition starts with one reactant. One creates unity, the other breaks stuff up. So a synthesis has one product, that's true, and two or more reactants, that's true. And a decomposition reaction has one reactant and two or more products. Bingo, bingo. So these two came together. It made one, so that is synthesis. These two, the H and the Na traded spots, so that is double replacement, because we made two replacements. Here, the F bumped the Cl, so that is single replacement. The Al bumped the, the copper there, the Cu, so that is single replacement. Here, we took, that's drinking alcohol, by the way, uh, with oxygen, and we burned it, and it created uh, carbon dioxide and water. So that is combustion. And here, the K traded with the PB. The potassium traded with the lead. That is two replacements. They traded two trades we made, so that is double replacement. So A, uh, A reacted with B, and then we get a new element. So A essentially bumped out the C that was hidden in B, so that is single replacement. We got two compounds, so they trade. There were two traded in there. They traded partners, so that is double replacement. And then with oxygen, making carbon dioxide and water, of course, is combustion. They made uh, one thing out of two, so that is synthesis. That broke down, so that is uh, decomposition. And that is, like I said, combustion combining with oxygen. When it, when it is combining with oxygen. 